One of the greatest things in the food world is potatoes wrapped in dough. Lots of cultures have it. There's the Jewish knish, there's the Indian samosa, Polish pierogies are often stuffed with potatoes, but you don't immediately think of Italian food as doing that, although there's a lot of Italian food that we've not been exposed to, so what do I know? But usually ravioli is stuffed with either meat or cheese. I found a pasta stuffed with potato that was so good, it's kind of amazing that no one else does it. It's Brian from EatThisNY.com. It's Monday, February 17th, 2020, and I've got another dish of the week for you. I made my way out to Brooklyn to one of the hottest restaurants of the last few years, a place called Missy, which is named for Chef Missy Robbins. This is her follow-up to Lilia, which is another amazing Williamsburg pasta restaurant. These both are follow-ups to her stint at Avoce a few years back that I got to experience in Manhattan. Missy Robbins is one of the greatest Italian chefs in New York City, and Missy is no exception. Here is where I tried the potato stuffed capoletti, which is housemade, and actually didn't get written about as much as I would have thought about when it first opened by all the critics. I think it's relatively new to the menu, and it's what the waitress recommended for me when I was looking for trying something light but different and unique and filling. It followed a vegetable dish which were the runner beans that were grilled with chilies, garlic, and olive oil. So the specialty here at Missy are vegetables and pasta. So I kind of like that I got a pasta stuffed with vegetables. Potato is a vegetable, right? Sure, we'll go with it. In addition to being stuffed with this really luxurious, smooth, creamy potato puree, it was also topped with bits of salty, crispy, fatty speck, lots of black pepper, and shavings of horseradish. It was a really excellent, surprising dish that I wouldn't have immediately ordered. The waitress steered me there. I'm steering you to it. You gotta try this when you get to Missy. Although, in fairness, I haven't tried any of the other pastas on the menu. I bet they're all as good as the Capoletti. I'm really excited to return to Missy. The Capoletti were $24, which was relatively a steal for this kind of high quality, fancy, hip restaurant at the waterfront of Williamsburg. Missy is must try if you can get in because even after a year and a half, they still are guarding the crowds weekday afternoon lunches. That's the deal. Until next week, happy eating. Mm -hmm.